Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 111 to 120 for the Certified Ethical Hacker B13 exam. Let's begin. Juliet, a security researcher in an organization, was tasked with checking for the authenticity of images to be used in the organization's magazines. She used these images as a search query and tracked the original source and details of the images, which included photographs, profile pictures, and memes. Which of the following footprinting techniques did Rachel use to finish her task? The correct answer is C. Reverse image search Reverse image search allows users to upload an image or provide its URL to find the original source and related information about that image across the web. Juliet used this technique to verify image authenticity and track origins. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Google Advanced Search This allows filtering search results with keywords and criteria, but does not directly search by image content. B. Meta Search Engines This aggregates search results from multiple search engines, but don't specifically perform image-based searches. D. Advanced Image Search This usually refers to refined keyword-based image searching, not uploading or querying by image itself. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Mary, a penetration tester, has found password hashes in a client system she managed to breach. She needs to use these passwords to continue with the test, but she does not have time to find the passwords that correspond to these hashes. Which type of attack can she implement in order to continue? The correct answer is A. Pass the hash. Pass the hash is an attack technique where the attacker uses hashed passwords directly to authenticate to systems without needing to crack the actual plain text passwords. This allows Mary to continue her penetration test without recovering the original passwords. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Internal monologue attack. This involves extracting logon tokens from processes, not directly using password hashes. C. LLMNR. NBTNS poisoning. These refer to techniques to intercept and redirect network name resolution traffic, unrelated to using hashes for authentication. D. Pass the ticket. This uses Kerberos tickets for authentication, not NTLM hashes. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Morris, a professional hacker, performed a vulnerability scan on a target organization by sniffing the traffic on the network to identify the active systems network services, applications, and vulnerabilities. He also obtained the list of the users who are currently accessing the network. What is the type of vulnerability assessment that Morris performed on the target organization? The correct answer is D. Passive assessment. A passive assessment involves sniffing network traffic without actively interacting with the target systems. Morris gathered information by monitoring network communications, identifying active systems, services, and users without sending probes or scans. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Credential assessment. This requires using valid credentials to access systems and perform deeper scanning. B. Internal assessment. This refers to testing from inside the network, but typically involves active scanning. C. External assessment. This is conducted from outside the network, usually with active probing rather than passive sniffing. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following protocols can be used to secure an LDAP service against anonymous queries? The correct answer is B. Radius. Radius can be used to secure LDAP services by providing authentication and authorization mechanisms thus preventing anonymous queries to the LDAP directory. Why the other options are incorrect? A. NTLM This is an authentication protocol for Windows networks, not directly used to secure LDAP against anonymous queries. C. WPA This is a wireless security protocol, unrelated to LDAP services. D. SSO Single sign-on is a user authentication process but does not directly secure LDAP services from anonymous queries. Therefore, the correct answer is B. 
During the enumeration phase, Lawrence performs banner grabbing to obtain information such as OS details and versions of services running. The service that he enumerated runs directly on TCP port 445. Which of the following services is enumerated by Lawrence in this scenario? The correct answer is C. SMB TCP port 445 is used by the SMB protocol, which provides shared access to files, printers, and serial ports on the network. Lawrence is enumerating SMB to gather OS and service version information. Why the other options are incorrect? A. RPC This typically uses port 135, not 445. B. Telnet This runs on TCP port 23, unrelated to port 445. D. NFS This uses different ports, not port 445. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Jane invites her friends Alice and John over for a LAN party. Alice and John access Jane's wireless network without a password. However, Jane has a long, complex password on her router. What attack has likely occurred? The correct answer is D. Piggybacking Piggybacking occurs when unauthorized users access a wireless network without permission often without needing a password if the network is unsecured or misconfigured. Since Alice and John connected without a password despite Jane having a complex one, piggybacking is the likely attack. Why the other options are incorrect? A. War driving. This involves searching for Wi-Fi networks while moving, not unauthorized access. B. Wireless sniffing. This refers to passively capturing wireless traffic, not connecting without a password. C. Evil Twin This refers to setting up a fake access point to trick users into connecting, not the scenario described. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which file is a rich target to discover the structure of a website during web server footprinting? The correct answer is B. Robots.txt the robots.txt file is a standard used by websites to instruct search engine crawlers about which part of the site to avoid. It often lists directories and pages, making it a rich source to discover the structure of a website during footprinting. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Domain.txt This is not a standard or commonly used file for website structure information. C. Document root this refers to the main directory of the website, but is not a file and typically not accessible directly. D. Index.html This is the default landing page, but it usually contains content rather than directory structure information. Therefore, the correct answer is B. John, a professional hacker, decided to use DNS to perform data exfiltration on a target network. In this process, he embedded malicious data into the DNS protocol packets that even DNSSEC cannot detect. Using this technique, John successfully injected malware to bypass a firewall and maintained communication with the victim machine and CNC server. What is the technique employed by John to bypass the firewall? The correct answer is D. DNS tunneling method. DNS tunneling involves encoding and transmitting data within DNS query and response packets. This technique can bypass firewalls and security controls because DNS traffic is typically allowed and often not deeply inspected, even by DNSSEC. Why the other options are incorrect? A. DNSSEC zone walking. This is a method to enumerate DNS zones, not for data exfiltration or tunneling. B. DNS cache snooping. This involves checking whether certain DNS records are cached by a DNS server, not data exfiltration. C. DNS enumeration. This collects DNS information about a domain but does not involve covert data transmission. Therefore, the correct answer is D. There have been concerns in your network that the wireless network component is not sufficiently secure. You perform a vulnerability scan of the wireless network and find that it is using an old encryption protocol that was designed to mimic wired encryption. What encryption protocol is being used? The correct answer is 
C. WEP. WEP is an old wireless encryption protocol designed to provide security comparable to wired networks. However, it is outdated and considered insecure due to numerous vulnerabilities. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Radius. This is a protocol for authentication, not an authentication method. B. WPA. This is an improvement over WEP, more secure but still outdated compared to WPA2 and WPA3. D. WPA3. This is the latest and most secure wireless encryption standard not the old protocol. Therefore, the correct answer is C. You are a cybersecurity specialist at Cloud Tech Inc., a company providing cloud-based services. You are managing a project for a client who wants to migrate their sensitive data to a public cloud service. To comply with regulatory requirements, the client insists on maintaining full control over the encryption keys even when the data is at rest on the cloud. Which of the following practices should you implement to meet this requirement? The correct answer is A. Encrypt data client side before uploading to the cloud and retain control of the encryption keys. Encrypting data before uploading to the cloud ensures the client maintains full control over the encryption keys, meeting regulatory requirements for data protection and key management. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Use the cloud service provider's encryption services, but store keys on premises. Most cloud providers don't support external key storage for their encryption services. This can complicate or prevent encryption usage. C. Rely on SSL encryption for data at rest. SSL TLS protects data in transit, not data at rest. D. Use the cloud service provider's default encryption and key management services. The client would not have full control over the keys if relying solely on the provider's services. Therefore, the correct answer is A. We have come to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.